to walk down the strip to have some beers at Walgreens <laughs> because they're like three dollars, four dollars a beer versus ten dollars. <laughs> and we walked down the strip and we sat at Denny's and ate some breakfast, and then we came back. In less than a week, Vegas. we go to Vegas. How do you feel about that, Brandy? I'm ready for some days off work. Las Vegas was one of those travel destinations that we always put off going to in the past. We knew we were eventually gonna go, but Vegas just wasn't at the top of our travel list. We made these assumptions that we knew what it was all about. On Christmas 2019, my dad and stepmother Shelly made that decision easier when they gifted us a paid weekend in Vegas. They would pay for the flight and hotel. Then the pandemic happened and we had to postpone the trip. But in the spring of 2021, we were finally able to travel to Las Vegas for the first time. We were excited. Was Las Vegas going to exceed our expectations or would it be exactly like we thought it would? Going on another trip. We got Vegas coming up here in a few days and I'm not prepared. I used to be really prepared for these kind of things. I used to do all my research before I went and went in knowing exactly what I was getting into. But this time, in the last few times we went on trips, I, I just go off not having no idea what's going on. I'm not much of a gambler though, so we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of excited though. Well, my parents are going to Vegas this weekend oh. and I'm a little jealous because they're not taking me. Which I understand Vegas is like more for adults, but I'm almost 16 years old now, so I think I'd be fun company on these trips. So maybe we could just like leave the four year old behind and take the 16 year old. I like that idea. My mommy and daddy are going on a trip and my grandma's gonna watch me. So tomorrow night, me and Brandy leave for Vegas. I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe we'll win it big. Kids, we're home. Look at all this cash we won. We're going to Vegas. We're going to Vegas. It's a good thing we're going with other people that have been there because me and Brandy might be a little bit lost being our first time ever in Vegas. I hear it can be overwhelming. But I honestly do not know really much about Vegas. I know a little bit from just movies and stuff that I've watched. But other than that, I mean, I'm gonna read about things on my way there. Cause I got like a four hour flight. I'll be sleeping. Brandy thinks she'll be sleeping, but she won't be sleeping the whole time. Actually, knowing Brandy, she probably will be sleeping. I will be sleeping. Biggest reason we haven't been to Vegas yet is just because we don't really have a whole lot of interest in it. And we knew that we were gonna go there at some point. It was just never really a priority. So you never know, we might fall in love with it and be regular visitors. Probably not, but we'll see. Anything can happen. We might get stuck in Vegas. We might lose all of our money. That happens to people. People with no self-control. <laughs> really hasn't hit me that I'm going to Vegas yet today. Set all my alarms to go to work this morning, so my alarms went off at 4.30. Then I got to sleep until 7.30, and then I had to go to work for a few hours, so this is like a normal day. We know nothing about this trip. This is so out of what I normally do on a trip, and I'm kind of actually enjoying it. But we know nothing. We just <laughs> found out this morning that we, what time we leave, so we know we left tonight, but had no idea what time we left. My father-in-law texted me and said, we we're gonna pick you up at six. Just found out what time we'll come home. On Sunday, we leave at 1 a.m. from Vegas. Mind you, at that point, I've already been sleeping for about five hours on a normal day. Yeah, the day of the departure, I found out what time our flight takes off. The roughest thing about this is that our flight departs at like 10. 
It's a what four hour flight, I think. No. They're three hours behind us. So we will be arriving there one hour later than the time that we left. But it's still a four hour flight. To us, it's gonna feel like two o'clock. I, I can't remember the last time I stayed up that late. I am not a party animal at all. I'm usually up by like 4 a.m. I'm wondering how I'm gonna do tonight. I know, I'm probably gonna be excited. Wow. Woo. Coffee? You're just gonna keep drinking coffee all night? I'm gonna keep drinking coffee. And then when I get there, and then I see all the excitement, I'm gonna get my second wind, and I'm gonna party all night. So we're getting ready to leave for Vegas shortly and we haven't even really thought about a budget. Is that even necessary? Do you need a budget for Vegas, Brandy? Well, we probably need a gambling budget. A gambling like budget? To gamble. Like to gamble. Nah. No. We don't like to gamble. I like to gamble. But I don't like to gamble. 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 I just did this little slow motion recording of throwing money and I thought it was hilarious because I used 20s rather than 100s. Honestly, I was gonna use 10s and 5s, but it seemed a little too cheap. I'm getting ready to say goodbye to the little man, because we're leaving. Yeah, because I'm, I'm playing field games though. <laughs> this is always the saddest part. And we don't get to tell Cora goodbye because she's doing school stuff right now. Well, we're getting ready to leave. We'll be leaving here, hitting the road. My in-laws picked us up and we were off to the airport. I had planned on getting some extra sleep on the airplane, so that way I had some extra energy for our first night in Vegas. I was excited. I had never been out west. Well, we made it to the airport. We're going to be leaving here in about a half hour, right? Yeah. We're taking a late night flight. Won't be long. This is my dad, we have the same haircut. From the seat back pocket, enter your attention to the flight attendant. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal at me. Make 
We made it here to the Mirage. It's 12.30 now. Vegas time. I should be at home in bed right now, but I'm getting ready to go out and grab a beer. I think that's what we're doing. it's only 1 30 which i would still be in bed at home <laughs> at the time this was recorded vegas still had many restrictions live entertainment options were limited we knew this beforehand and had accepted that we were not going to get the whole las vegas experience we were just happy to get away and spend the weekend together I'm not gonna lie. More street food is what I was expecting. I was expecting like people to try and get me to buy food. Hey there, pretty lady. You wanna buy some straight food? Vegas wieners! Go get some Vegas wieners! <laughs> There's a Walgreens. Do we want to go get another beer in Walgreens? Well, it's 2 20, Randy. Oh. Yeah, that was... It's 2 <laughs> in the morning, apparently. It's Thursday. <laughs> no, we did not have days on a vacation trip. Said you need a snack? I need a snack. Snack. We were starving, and at 3.30 in the morning, Denny's was our best option. It's a Vegas? melting pot of people. I love Vegas. <laughs> I'm putting my mozzarella sticks at Denny's. Right here. Denny's. Mozzarella sticks. Oh, oh, I see. That's why it is cool. I got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you know what we drank all night? Walgreens. <laughs> and if I eat a big fat meal, meal oh, oh. We went to Walgreens and bought a drink because it's cheaper. It's the cheapest way. Well, our first drinks were like $10 at the bar. $40 for like four beers. I just talked about the sunshine. Today. Today. It's, it is morning. Yeah, it's this morning. morning. I mean, it's going to be like people be getting up by the time you're headed to your room. Hey, that's my normal daily life. I get up at four o'clock in the morning for work. <laughs> at least you're getting your mozzarella sticks. I am. I well, didn't order them in the ranch. Hopefully they'll run out oh. before they bring them. Oh, quit y'all, dude. Still waiting for our food. I could have been about ready to get up. Hey, yeah. I got 13. I 
13,494. Brady's been waiting on for a long time on her mozzarella sticks. She's ready for some mozzarella action. When I'm on vacation, there is nothing better than a deep fried cheesy mozzarella stick dipped in ranch. So delicious. <laughs> but Good, huh? We eventually made it to our room at the Mirage for a cozy Las Vegas nap. We didn't do much on our first night in Vegas. That was okay because our weekend had just begun. It's now five in the morning. And we would both be up getting ready for work. I'd actually already be at work. The sun's up there. Yeah, it's just... daughter's already in school. This is weird. The fact that I just ate dinner slash breakfast at 4.30 a.m. in a very dirty <laughs> but delicious <laughs> Denny's restaurant. The bathroom was just absolutely disgustingly dirty. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Hopefully tomorrow will be a much more energizing Energizing. Day. I was very energized. In Vegas. Yes, tomorrow will be a better day. Good night. Our first impression of Las Vegas was what we had envisioned. Except that I had this feeling I was gonna like it more than what I thought. I'm gonna win it. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. You want some straight food? Vegas wieners! There's nothing better than a deep fried cheesy mozzarella stick dipped in ranch. That sounds so good right now. <laughs> Be part of the fam. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on part two of our Las Vegas series.